Philadelphia plays host for this NFC matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. The running back position today, manned by a couple of stars of the sport. What are you looking for here? Yeah, it's kind of refreshing, isn't it, to do a game where it's all about the running backs. We have to talk about the, how good the quarterback is and aren't they special. Well, these two running backs are special, and we see it each week how they play, but also we see it how the offenses are designed. It is around the running backs. Tackled at the 13. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Trying to find an opening. To the right. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time. Able to get down the field and get that long game. First and ten. McCoy, a tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Offense lines up here. Second and 15, looking for a receiver on the left side here. This defense is ready to pounce here early in this game as a third and long play is coming up. They sure are. There's no doubt about that. They got themselves in a good situation here. If I'm the quarterback now, third and long, I would be very cautious and conservative. Backed up into third and 15. Had a completion this time. The tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Michael Vick will be under center. Taking off. They bring him down in the middle of the field at the 50. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Jackson's in the slot. Second and eight. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, the quarterback's got to see this blitz when it's coming. And if he checks to an audible to get rid of the football quicker or give himself extra protection, that will help him a lot. Third and 17. Too much pressure. And he's brought down again. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. They better hurry to get the staff. Running a little college-like option. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. It's fourth and long. What do you expect to always pick these situations up? That's bad game management, bad play call, bad decisions by the coach. McDonald's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Got a big lane. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Boy, Frank Gore over the years has taken a lot of punishment from the running back position, the knee injuries, shoulder injuries, but he's still got the great speed and good lateral movement to get big yards. For game two. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game.
second down now. And the give to Frank Gore. And for about six. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Quarters formation here for the defense. Frank Gore gets it here. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Big decision for the coach this time, Jim. You failed on third and goal. What do you do? Do you go for it? I say you call the play and you try to put up seven points. Trying to make something happen. Touchdown, San Francisco. The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. The 49ers line up now for the point after. Makes the PAT. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. McCoy is lined up directly behind the quarterback here, and that picks up three. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Double tight end formation. Second and seven. Throws to the right. Dante Whitner picks off that pass. He's brought to a halt. Good job that time by the defense, not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play, that time they did, they got the interception. On first down, Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Heaving it down the field. What an amazing catch. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality for Let's see how they back up the big play here. Shakes off the hit. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Offense lines up here. Kaepernick from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. 49ers in for the score. Well, that was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. The point after is good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. They're setting up the return. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. Back now at Lincoln Financial Field. Jim Nance and Phil Sims, along with Danielle Bellini, for the beginning of the second quarter. First down on the way, and the second quarter is underway with this snap. Gain of seven. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Second and three after that last carry. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Ball is caught. And a good gainer. Let's give him nine. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. 
I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. Second and short, McCoy's taking the handoff. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was, gets it there, and he moves those chains. Fix going to take the snap from the shotgun. The defense gets the sack. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed. When it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. From the gun. Under fire all day. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Donnie Jones now ready to punt. Formation, Gore. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football Picking up another first down and moving the chains. Safeties now in the NFL have to cover like a corner, and they got to tackle like a linebacker. And that time the safety came up, and he tackled like a linebacker and stopped that outside run. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Second and ten. Screen pass. They deck him in the backfield. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but... A loss of yards on the play. Offense lines up here. Third and a long way to go. Eyeing that left side. Tip away. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Offense lines up here. Down the field. And there's a sideline pass. Incomplete, it's ruled. When you decide to go for it on fourth down as a head coach, you've got to realize that you're going to be one of two things. You're going to be a genius or an idiot. And if you don't make it, look out. The second guessing begins. McCoy's lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. The ball is out. Nice job on the offense that time, even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. The quarterback took a big hit on that last play, and now the offense is looking at second down and long. Two-minute warning. Second down coming up. On the run. 
and it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. Ready to make the stops on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. And he's forced to the ground. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Play action. Trying to work that left side. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time. But the coverage was so good by the defense. Uh, nowhere to get the completion. Nickel formation here for the defense. Third and goal from the sixth. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Offense lines up here. Fourth down, goal to go. Touchdown, this game is tight. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them, and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. He made it. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. Airing it out. And he's intercepted. Tackles made. I, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. There's some shifting around in the backfield. First and ten. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. The quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving, you want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. The Eagles are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. McCoy's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Easy catch there. No one near him. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Go, go, go. Offense lines up here. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Brought down right at the 50. The Eagles will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He's got a little bit of daylight here. That picks up seven. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. Second down and four. Looking to the right side and throwing. Almost intercepted. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Double, double, double. 
This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. Third and four. We're running it like it's an option play. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. And that will close out the first half here in the city of brotherly love. We'll be back after halftime to Philadelphia for the beginning of the second half. A check to the sidelines with Danielle Bellini reporting. I had a moment to speak with Patrick Willis at halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll send it back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. First down, offense readying for the snap. They give it to the running back. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Looks to his left. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a quarter route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. And Manningham's lined up now as a slot receiver. Now it's a third and 13. Working that left side. Kaepernick able to find Mario Manningham. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Dropping back three. He has the grab. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. That reception gave them the first down. Takes it from the weak eye. Nice tackle. This will be second down. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Has the reception all alone. That was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Ohio! Ohio! First down following the long play. The quarterback will hand it off. Tackled at the 18th. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Offense lines up here. It's a second and five here. Back to the ground. He's headed right. What an effort and a touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. And the point after is good. Ready to step up and send this one down to the end zone. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Tackled at the 13. They face first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Good piece of tackle. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you've got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. Halfway through the third quarter. Gets it out to the 22. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size, and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time. Stopping the outside run for a little game. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. <laughs> 
After this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. The Eagles get a first down. Well, I like the decision that time to go for it on fourth and short. You, know, you got some big old hogs up front. They're pretty strong, so it's fourth down. Go for it, and you pick it up. They've got a first down now after that catch. In trouble now. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, that's just an awful job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately, but a nice job by the quarterback, able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. Michael Vick will be under center. Second down and 10, getting away from the pressure. He's got some daylight. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Split that field here. First down and 10. Makes the catch. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. Going to take off with it. Throwing now to his left. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. How about this gift? A wide-open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there, and he gets the easy touchdown. Extra point is good. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. The 49ers lined up in the pistol. Gore's got it on the handoff. Breaks away. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First and goal, and the give to Frank Gore. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Pat Chung makes the tackle. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. The offense lines up here. Frank Gore gets it here. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He'll start his return. And that return ends rather quietly, short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. First down coming up. He'll throw it over the middle. Incompletion on that hurried throw. Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that pass, and alas, it's incomplete. I, I listen, I know he was under duress, but you got to hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always going to get perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. Second and ten. Throws the pass. Casey's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best to the open now as he crosses the first down marker. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station.
Here's the first snap after the big play. The final quarter underway now with this snap. With two hands, he has it. I think the best thing to say about that play is just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple of yards. Second down, three for the first. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. I'm just going to give the defense a lot of credit for all these sacks they've got here today. They take him down one more time. When you got this much talent on the defensive side, you're going to sack the quarterback. Gets away from the pressure. He'll fire it out to the left. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. You cannot play quarterback in the NFL anymore if you don't have good footwork. And that means in the, inside the pocket or outside the pocket. Avoid those sacks. Split backfield here. Reed is there and has the pick. That brings the play to an end. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position and they made the interception. Wide receivers are bunched up. First and ten. Gore. Left side. They pounce on him there. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. That leads us to second down. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. How did he do that? There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. The 49ers in the pistol. First and 10. The throw to the left. An incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. And Crabtree's lined up in the slot. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And he's intercepted. Most NFL linebackers are borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defense back. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Cooper's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Looking to scramble. He's got some daylight. He steps out. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. Throws to the right. Reaches out and grabs it. Touchdown and drawing close. Eagles for the extra point. And the extra point is good. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. Sounds like it's just a minor issue, and he'll be back on the field shortly. The onside kick is not legal until the football travels 10 yards. Setting up in the pistol on this play. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. 
they've got them behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Running away from the pressure. Incomplete. Well, the quarterback's hurried on the play, and he throws an incompletion. And the QB had no chance, Jim, that time. No chance. The offensive line just has to keep the defenders off the quarterback a little longer. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Third down and 12. That pass was hers. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it. So if he can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. And now getting set for a 56-yard field goal. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That's a touchdown. How about that? The fake field goal, the holder. Uh, fakes it, gets up, and puts the football right on the money for the touchdown. The 49ers for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. The Eagles will approach this play from out of the pistol. Complete. Picks up on his way. He's at the 50. The 40. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Jim, what a nice throw by the quarterback. Puts the football right in the hands of the wide receiver. He's behind the defense, but look at the hustle and the speed by the defense. They get the tackle from behind. Escaping the pressure. He's into the open, and he's brought to the ground. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. The Eagles come out in the pistol. He'll fire it out to the left, shifts away. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. What a beating this has been as he comes to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a ninth time today. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official. The injury appears to be mild, so the trainers are just looking just him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. The Eagles with an extra point try on the way. Add the extra point, the kick is good. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. It looks like they've recovered the onside kick. Guys need to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. Now first and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Ball's picked off. They've got him down there. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Bolden in the slot. Gore is going to take the handoff now. The 49ers now move the change. Now you know why guys like Vince Wilfork are so important to the middle of defenses. You need a big run stopper to stop these runs right up the middle. You either, you either need a big run stopper or some really big linebackers to stop those runs up inside. Bolden is going to get set in the slot for this snap. And they go back to the ground. They call for the timeout to stop the clock.
Colin Kaepernick under center. Second and nine. Here's the quick toss to the running back. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. The jumbo set on the field. Kaepernick sells the play fake and looks downfield. The 49ers in field goal formation. For an open receiver on the right. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. McCoy got a couple. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Second down here. Fix got it in the gun. The reception, easy, wide open. The quarterback this time realized that the zone coverage, he just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Makes the reception, and he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. On second and nine, gets away from the pressure, eyeing that left side. Incompletion there, just not quite able to get the feet down. Nice job by the quarterback. He gets quick pressure, able to get outside the pocket and keep this play alive. Nickel formation for the defense here. Third and nine. He makes the catch. A tackle that had to be made. And that'll set up fourth down. You can only take what the defense gives you. Even though the offense is down here in the fourth quarter, they throw it short. That was a smart play. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. I think the coach took a little risk that time going forward on fourth and short. Fourth and short in the NFL has turned into one tough proposition but a good job that time getting it. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. First and 10. He fires it in there tight. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Eagles in for the score. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defense is a thinking run here, and so the offense, they call a nice play, very deceptive. They throw the football, and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Eagles will walk to the line. They've used up their timeout, so put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. I know you were shaking your head over this one, but they went for the two instead of the tie, and they come through and take the lead. Uh, I'll just say this, the, the head coach is not afraid to lose. That was a gamble. He goes for the two, and he got rewarded. Nice job by the offense. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. He's going deep. Oh, and almost picked up that time. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Prevent defense time. Second and ten. Going for the deep ball. And it's incomplete. 
They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. Makes the catch deep down the middle of the field. This was a good game to watch today. Competitive all the way to the end.